Justin Yuki, last Friday, the Cheltenham Panthers tried to kick off their 2023 season. Unfortunately, a teen carrying a loaded ghost gun in the stands cut the proceedings short. Well, on Thursday night, the Panthers hosted their first home game of the season with new security measures now in place. Thank you. It was three checkpoints. Hi. Um, and they were very diligent and very thorough on their process. So there is no stone unturned, and that makes me feel very secure. In a letter to students and their parents on Wednesday, the school district outlined what to expect at the game. Three security checkpoints, including one with metal detector wands. Only small, clear bags were allowed beyond the initial checkpoint. Students have to show valid student IDs, and adults have to show IDs upon request. Additionally, Cheltenham Police and School District staff are stationed throughout the stadium and parking lot. I think it helps. I, I, I think it might deter someone who's thinking about, you know, doing the wrong thing to think twice about it or to keep it away from here. We also spoke with some Cheltenham High School students whose feelings about the security measures were decidedly mixed. Safe, but also slightly, you know, disappointed because it is it is a school game, and definitely, gun violence should not be a thing, you know, that has a place here. So that's what I personally believe. It did make me feel safe, but then also, it was just a bit, a bit weird, because like there's a bunch of police and there's a bunch of people. Juan Rivera, whose daughter is a sophomore at Cheltenham, explained how he felt about last week's incident and all that has followed. Unfortunate, Phil enough, just sort of why? Like, wh why? Like, you know, what does a young kid need to feel? He needs to be with a gun, right? Um, and I, I think that's the overall feeling is, it's just helplessness. Like, why? Like, why, is, why, did, why do we need to be here? In Cheltenham, Siafa Lewis, CBS News, Philadelphia.